Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number twelve, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August fifth, nineteen seventy-two, in Los Angeles. So, uh, people, they sometimes say. Can you show me God? Have you seen God? This question sometimes we meet. So the answer is here. Yes, you can see God. Everyone can see God. I am also seeing God. But there must be the qualification. Ah. Just like God is there. Suppose a motor car is there. Something is wrong there. Everyone is seeing. But one engineer or mechanic, he sees differently. Therefore we have to go there. What is wrong in this car? It is not running. He immediately touches some machine part, it runs. So these rascals, they do not know that how I can see God if I have not the qualification. The machine has gone wrong. I am seeing the machine. And the engineer, the mechanic, he is also seeing the machine. But he is seeing, and my seeing is different. He is qualified to see. Therefore, when the machine has gone wrong, immediately he touches some part. It runs. See, if for a machine we require so much qualification and we want to see God without any qualification, just see the fun, without any qualification. Rascals, they are so rascals, so fools, that they want to see God with their nuisance qualification. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Nāhaṁ prakāsa sarvasu yuga māyā samāprita uh, I am not exposed to everyone. Yoga Maya, Yoga Maya is covering. So how you can see God? But this rascal time is going on. Uh, that can you show me God? Have you seen God? Uh, God has become just a plaything. Uh, here is God. He is incarnation of God. <coughs> then seen food. Rascals, fools, lowest of the mankind, they inquire like that. Can you show me God? What qualification you have acquired that you can see God? Here is the qualification. Ah. What is that? Oh. One must be first of all faithful. Faithful. Saddhadhana. Ah. He must be very much eager to see God, actually. Not that as a, a proclivity, frivolous thing. Can you show me God? A magic, just like God is a magic. No, he must be very serious. Yes, if there is God, we have seen, we have, we have been informed about God. So, I must see. There is a story in this connection. <clears throat> it's very instructive. Try to hear. One uh, professional reciter was reciting about Bhagavat, and he was describing that Krishna, being very uh, highly decorated with all jewels. He is sent for tending the cows in the forest. <coughs> so there was a thief in that meeting. So he thought that why not then go to Vrindavan and plundered this boy. He's, he's in the forest with so many valuable jewels. I can go there and catch the child and take me all these jewels. That was his intention. 
So you are serious. Then I must find out that boy. Then in one night I shall become millionaire. So much dwellings. No. So he went there. But his qualification was that I must see Krishna. I must see Krishna. That anxiety, that eagerness made it possible that in Vrindavan he saw Krishna. He saw Krishna the same way as he was uh, informed by the Bhagavata Gita. Then he said, oh, oh, you are so nice, boy, Krishna. So he began to flatter. And he thought that flattering, I shall take all the jewels. <laughs> so when he proposed his real business, so may I take some of your these ornaments? He was so rich. No, no, no. <laughs> My mother will be angry. I cannot. <laughs> Krishna has a child. So he became more and more eager for Krishna. And then, by Krishna's association, he has already become purified. Then at last Krishna said, all right, you can take. And then he became a devotee immediately. Because by Krishna's association, so somewhere or other, we should come in contact with Krishna. Somewhere or other. Then we'll be purified. Kaman, Bhayad, Desad, that's the gopis. The gopis came to Krishna being captivated by his beautiful feature. They were young girls, and Krishna was so beautiful. So, actually they came to Krishna being lusty. But Krishna is so pure that they became first-class devotees. There is no comparison of their devotees, because they love Krishna with heart and soul. That is the quality. That is the quality. Uh, they loved so much Krishna that they didn't care for family, for reputation. Uh, when they are going at dead of night, Krishna's flute was there, and they are all fleeing. <coughs> their father, their brother, their husband, where you are going? Where you are going in this dead of night? They didn't care. Uh, they neglected their children, their family, everything. We must go to Krishna. So this is required. We must be very, very eager so that many gopis who were forcibly stopped going to Krishna, they lost their life. Just see how much eager they are. So this eagerness is wanted. Then you can see God. Either you become lusty or a thief or a murderer, whatever it may be. Some or other, if you develop this eagerness that I must see Krishna, then Krishna will be seen. So, here is the first thing is how much eager you are to see Krishna. Krishna will respond. If you are actually eager to see Krishna, it, the reason may be different. Either you are last year or to steal his ornament or Somewhere or other you become attracted to Krishna, uh, then your business is successful. Uh, Goswami has advised that <coughs> he said uh, in a poetry, it is on the matter of the gopis talking. So one gopi is advising another gopi that, my dear friend, uh, smirang, chandrakina, bhangsina stadhara, ujjala chandrakina, kesiti thopakanthe, govinda akya, mapre khishta tabajadi sakhe bandhu sangh esti ranga. Idea is that one gopi is advising another gopi, my dear friend, and there is 
one boy, his name is Govinda. He is standing on the bank of Jamuna near the Kesi Ghat and he is playing on his float. Uh, and he is so beautiful that especially during full moon night, uh, please do not go there. Uh, why? Uh, because if you have got intense to enjoy in this material world with your family members, wife, children, husband, please do not go there. Smirang bhangitraya parichitang sachi vistinna dhrishti bhangitra. The Krishna is all stands in three card way with his float. That is Krishna's uh, Tribhanga Mura. Tribhanga. Three places he is bent. So Smirang uh, Bhangitra Parijitang Sachi Vistinna Dishni Maprikhista Sakhe Jadi if you think that you will enjoy more your life in this material world, uh, then you do not go there. Uh, you do not go. The idea is that if you want to see Krishna, then you will forget all this nonsense material in your life. That is seeing Krishna. Nava! Shaming Kitatos me, Barangana Jati. My dear Lord, I don't want anything. Viva Maharaj. Viva Maharaj went to see Krishna to get the kingdom of his father. But when he saw Krishna, Vishnu, Vishnu offered, no, whatever benediction you want, you take. He said, Shaming Kitatos me, Barangana Jati. My dear Lord, I have no more any desire. That is Krishna. That if you want to see Krishna for some business, so I shall see Krishna just like. Of course, if you are eager to see Krishna, the motive may be different, but some or other, due to our eagerness, you will see Krishna. That is the only quality. May another poetry, Rupa Goswami says, Krishna bhakti rasa bhavita mati kriyatam jadi kutopi labhati. With our this Krishna consciousness, I have taken this from this word. Krishna bhakti rasa bhavana mati. This is the actual translation in Sanskrit. Or Krishna bhakti rasa bhavana mrita. So Rupa Goswami advises that Krishna consciousness. If it is possible, please purchase. Don't delay. Krishna bhakti rasa bhavana mrita kriyatam. Purchase immediately. Krishna bhakti rasa bhavana mrita kriyatam jadi kutogi. When it is available, it is very nice thing. Yes, it is available. You can purchase. The movement is going on. Uh, and what is the price? Uh, price is such a nice thing. You have to pay price. Yes, there is price. What is that? Tatalullam ekamullam. Simply your eagerness. That is price. This price you have to pay. Then you get Krishna. Immediately. Krishna is not poor. And the Krishna seller. The Krishna devotee, he is also not poor. He can distribute Krishna free and he is doing that. Simply you have to purchase by your eagerness. That is what. Tatra laulam. Now eagerness, I have got eagerness. Ah, it is not so easy. Tatra laulam ekam lam jalma koti sukriti vi na labhati. This eagerness cannot be achieved. 
even by pious activities for millions of births. If you simply go on doing pious activities, because without being pious you cannot approach Krishna. So you, if you go on doing simply pious and janma koti bhi, sukriti bhi, sukriti means pious simply pious. Still this eagerness is not awakening. So this eagerness is very important. But it can be happened by the association of devotee. Therefore we are giving chance to everyone to invoke that eagerness. Then you will see God, I do ask. It is not the vision. Tattvadhana munayo. Those who have developed that eagerness, faith, that I must see Krishna in this life. This life is meant for seeing Krishna. It is not meant for becoming dogs and hogs. Unfortunately, the whole civilization is going on. They are being trained to become dogs and hogs. It is the only institution that is teaching people how to see Krishna. This is the only institution, this Krishna consciousness. It is so important. Tastadda dhāna munayo jñāna vai rāga yuktaya By eagerness, automatically you will be enriched with knowledge and detachment. Knowledge does not mean uh, now we have discovered this atomic bomb. That is not knowledge. What knowledge is it? People are dying. You have discovered something which will accelerate death. But we are giving some knowledge to stop death. That is Krishna consciousness. This is knowledge. Jnana bhajirakuri. And as soon as you get this knowledge, automatically you become detached to all these nonsense materials. Thank you.